Hey, this is Joe Gilder from Personas. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use our new Revelator USB microphone for podcasting. I've personally produced hundreds of podcast episodes over the years, so I know that sometimes technology can get in the way, especially if you're working with a remote co-host or doing interviews over something like Skype. Not only does the Revelator give you a great sounding microphone with full fat channel controls for EQ compression limiting, things like that, it's actually the microphone you're listening to right now. It also comes with included built-in routing and loopback software that allows you to do things like record your microphone on one channel in your software and then record Skype or the person you're speaking with on another channel and have them completely separate. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up the whole thing, so let's dive in. First thing you wanna do when you get your Revelator is to download the Universal Control software from mypersonus.com. Register the Revelator there, it'll give you a download link for the software. This will allow you to control what's happening on the Revelator. Now before we dive into that software, there is a setting you need to change right here. Under device mode, you wanna make sure this is set to single. You have two options, single and multi. For this application, single is the best choice because it makes the computer see the Revelator as a six channel interface as opposed to three different interfaces, which is what multi does. That'll make sense for other applications we'll talk about in another video. All right, now that that is selected, just click on Revelator and you'll pull up this control panel. Okay, now that we have the software open, we can set up the microphone itself. The first thing we wanna do is adjust the mic gain. We can do that by just clicking and dragging on this knob right here. We can also do that from the microphone itself by holding down the monitor button until the rotary encoder turns green. Now, for a temporary moment, we can turn the knob on the rotary encoder and that will adjust the mic gain inside the software. I would recommend getting maybe six inches away from the microphone and then adjust the volume so it looks something like this. When you're talking at a normal level, it's about halfway up. And when you talk at your loudest, it gets a little higher but doesn't get close to clipping. If you do clip, uh, two things will happen. A red light will go off right here. And also the rotary encoder on the microphone will also light up red so you know that you're clipping. By the way, when the knob isn't green, it's volume control for your headphones. So you can set the gain of the microphone, which is something you really only have to do once. Then you can adjust the volume of your headphones by turning that same knob. If at any point you need to mute yourself on the call, you can do so by clicking the mute button in the software or by pressing in on the little rotary encoder on the mic itself that acts as a mute button as well. Okay, so you've set the mic gain, you've set your headphone level to something comfortable. Now it's time to dial in the tone of the microphone. We've got a lot of presets built in to make that really easy for you. And over here on the right-hand side, you can see we have a fat channel section with uh, very simple controls for compression, EQ, gating, limiters, and even a few effects. If you're comfortable with those kinds of controls, uh, you can go from using these very kind of basic presets to clicking here and opening up the full fat channel to be able to control to your liking. My personal preference is to record with just maybe a little bit of EQ and then save it for post-processing later so I can add whatever plugins I want after the fact. But if you like to throw everything on there on the way in, you can do that as well. Okay, next thing we need to do is set up Skype with the proper settings for audio. Open up Skype preferences, go to audio and video, and select as your microphone revelator, and then select the same thing for your speakers. That's all you have to do in Skype, then we'll go back into the revelator software and continue from there. Okay, here's a really important part. The whole purpose of this software is to allow me to do some cool routing, which means I can set up a different mix for what I hear compared to what my friend hears over Skype. And using these little faders is how you do that. It may seem complicated if you've never used something like this before, but I assure you it's simple and I'll show you how to set it up. Okay, each of these faders is a different piece of audio. And each of these little tabs over here is a different destination, meaning we can have different fader levels for each different destination or different mixes. The first one we wanna set up is our phones mix, which is our headphone mix. Typically, in this scenario, I wanna hear anything and everything. So I'll push all of these up for my headphone mix. Next, we wanna set up our main mix. This is what's gonna be recorded as our voice in our recording software, but also is what the person on the other end of Skype is gonna hear. We only want them to hear me, correct? We don't wanna send them back to themselves or they'll hear that dreaded echo that we've all experienced. So for the main mix, we just wanna turn up 
our microphone, and nothing else. Make sure everything else is turned down. Finally, we want to set up a separate mix that is just the playback from Skype. Now, in this scenario, Skype is going to play back on this playback channel. It's the default output for any audio on my computer. So I'm going to turn that channel up and turn everything else, including my microphone, down. So main mix is just me. Loopback 1 is just Skype. Okay, now we need to set up our recording software. I'll be using Studio One for this. You can use any recording software you want, but Studio One Artist actually comes with the Revelator for free, so I'd recommend using that. First thing we wanna do is set the Revelator as our playback and recording device, our audio device for this session, and hit OK. Next, we wanna create two channels. So I've got one here called Me, and a second one called Skype. I'm gonna set the inputs for these channels. Uh, the one for me is just going to be inputs one and two from Revelator, which corresponds to the main output here, which is one and two. The second input is going to be loopback input one, as you can see here. If we look at our routing matrix, the Revelator shows up as six channels of audio, and they're done in stereo pairs. So one and two is the main mix. Loopback one, left and right, is loopback one over here in the software. And then loopback two, of course, is loopback two. I've created an input called Skype and I've set it to inputs three and four, and that's what's showing up on this channel. Now, if we record enable these two channels, we should see that my voice is coming in on channel one, but nothing is coming in on channel two. So far, it feels like it's working. Next, we want to test this out, right? We don't want to just wait till the, the call is happening to see if it's working. We can actually test this by simply opening up Skype, going to audio video, and clicking test audio, okay? That's gonna cause the uh, Skype to play that ringtone. Do, 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 do. And if we have our headphones on, we will hear it. Uh, but we can see here, we've got my voice coming in on this channel, but when I stop speaking, we can see that Skype is going to the second channel. We can even hit record just to test and make sure. So I'm speaking here, Skype is coming down there. Now, if I put in my earbuds and listen, I can solo each channel, and the first one will just be my voice. So I'm speaking here, and the second one should just be the ring from Skype. And that's it. With one device, we're able to cover so much ground, and this is just for podcasting. As you can imagine, this thing works really well for all different scenarios. I'll be doing a number of videos explaining different uses for the Revelator microphone. You can see those by checking out the playlist link in the description below. For now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Shring. Meow. Whoop.